actually exit in 2027 when he has constructed or not. I want to urge him this should be a priority so that the people of Kakamega do not keep on losing millions of shillings in paying for rent to offices of private people who have no interest in devolution, who are sitting there hoping that the governor fails in construction so that they continue collecting money. M Mr. Speaker, Madam Speaker, the matter is so crucial to the people of Kamega that when the Gen Z came out into the streets of Kakamega, they went straight to those private offices. They didn't want to have them there and stoned them flat and banned county vehicles that were backed outside those rented premises. The youth were saying, Madam Speaker, that money is being wasted. The headquarters should be constructed. With those many remarks, Madam Speaker, I want to end my contribution by paying my condolences to the family of Caroline Shiramba, who was shot by, uh, during the Gen C uh, 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 demonstrations in Kakamega. And Madam Speaker, it is pathetic that the officer who shot Shiramba in broad daylight was an officer attached to the governor of Kakamega. We know his identity. We know his face. We know his name. We want to ask the governor to surrender this security officer to the nearest police station so that the people of Ekolomani who buried Shiramba over the weekend can see an element of justice. I thank you, Chair. Thank you, Senator. Uh, majority Leader. Senator Medu, you should not distract the Majority Leader. You know, 